And welcome back to your Carolina. Local businesses, especially local restaurants and workers are in the battle for their livelihoods during this coronavirus. And social media has decided to do something about it. It's called Carry Out Wednesday. It's a challenge where we as consumers are being encouraged to order carry out from your favorite local restaurant. There's no doubt that a lot of people have been talking about this whole thing and how to help. We feel helpless during a time like this. Take a look at this graphic. We want to make sure that you go out today. We don't want you to go and dine in a restaurant. That is something that the governor has made, you know, essentially illegal for us to do. But you can call in. You can get a takeout order. You can uh, get that delivery or order through some of your favorite services. Of course, there's Grubhub. There's Bite Squad. There's Hub City Delivery over in Spartanburg. They want you to get those delivery orders. They want you to call your local restaurant, see if you can buy a gift card online. And, of course, when they make that delivery of your carryout order, make sure that you're tipping them uh, for those 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 servers and those waiters back at the back at those respective restaurants that may need your help. Again, this is going to be going on carry out Wednesday that started as a social media trend, but it's something that we hope doesn't just carry on on Wednesday. It goes throughout because we don't know when this is going to end and those folks that are restaurant owners, restaurant workers, they're going to need our help as much as we can get that. We want to talk a little bit about what's going on here in front of me. This is just one of uh, the restaurant groups that's being impacted by this. You know, gather the uh, communal food group that opened just a few weeks weeks ago, they got a great reception here in Greenville, but now everything has changed. So we're talking about Hendo and uh, they're doing something really cool. They're doing family meals. So we're going to start here on the table. I'm going to start right here to kind of tell you some of the things they're doing. Gather Greenville has launched a new app for you to kind of see what's going on over with those groups. They're doing the uh, KO group meal kits and it's quick and it's an affordable way to feed your family while also practicing that social distancing. For $30, you can get two classic KO burgers, two chicken sandwiches, two large orders of fries. They also have something that has some wings, Brussels sprouts, smoked Gouda mac and cheese. You can also do donuts if you're doing the breakfast thing. Mercado, the restaurant has uh, red chicken enchiladas, rice and beans, large chips, and sauce and guac for $25. Again, all of the restaurant groups are offering a little something uh, different. So for as little as $25, you can get a family meal that can be uh, delivered to. They're also doing something really cool. 15% of all their proceeds uh, generated through their meal kits will be don donated to nonprofits and charities working to stop the spread of COVID-19 and help develop those vaccines and keep America fed. So like we said, they have um, relaunched that Gather Greenville app so you can go and see what's going on at Gather. You can also call Hendo Restaurant at 864-373-9108 or order their delivery through Bite Squad. We also want to tell you about this quick website. It's called KillCovidNotSmallBiz.com. It has a listing of all the restaurants, all the re our retailers in our area that are offering different services, different times. If you want a place that has it all for at least those Greenville businesses, and if you are a business, you can update that information so we know how we can support you there. Again, kill COVID, not smallbiz.com. Get out today, get those carry out orders, spend money, tip big, and support our community in any way you can. If you are a restaurant and you need some help, be sure to tag us on Facebook, Your Carolina, so we can share that as well. I'm going to toss it over to Megan. She's with our financial friends to talk about how this is taking a toll on the market and what you can do about it. Megan. The coronavirus continues to have a major impact on the stock market and the global economy during this unprecedented time. We are all taking health precautions, but guys, what precautions should we be taking with our money? Joining us every Wednesday morning for your retirement coffee talk is George Fossing. George, of course, is the president of North Star Financial, a local area firm that focuses on preparing people for a successful retirement. George is also a popular radio show host. And George, have you slept at all? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. You're sleeping good because you're prepared. Meredith, or? my wife, has a glass of wine ready for me when I come home. I was going to say. Thank you, Meredith. <laughs> yes, Meredith, we all got to have our people. But do you, I've been like making sure I haven't called you. I've wanted to call you like yeah. every day. Be like, George, I can't look at the news anymore. I can't look at the stock markets. What is that's it? actually a good thing to yeah. not look at them or to not call not, you? Not look at it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, I think it's a little overwhelming. There's so much uh, noise out there, and it's uh, gets the emotions kicked up. Yes. Uh, we were just talking, you know, recently, like if there was ever an 08, you know, and this is like oh, totally different because it's, you know, if you go back a month from our conversation, we're talking about different topics. Now, this is how quickly things can change like that. It's just a, 
It happens. It happens. So how should we be reacting to the market volatility right well, now? Well, you know, let reason be uh, what you're doing, not, not emotion. That's the big thing. Uh, you know, the, the people have to understand that um, I believe uh, the two most important days of investing is the day you buy and the day you they sell. sell yeah. Everything else in between, it really is noise. It, because we know it doesn't do this. It's, mm -hmm. it's all over the place. Right. Yes. This but this has been like, shoo! Yeah, when you're watch, watching saying, yeah, this is yeah. just crazy, and this guy's kind of relaxed out there. Yeah. Well, I've been doing this for 25 years. I've been through 08 and 01. So just cooler heads prevail. That's, I think, where we come in handy, financial advisors and such, where we could talk to people and say, listen, let's look at the data. Let's look at the important things. We do know this. Uh, emotion does drive a huge portion of the market. People overbuy and people oversell. Right now, the signals are huge overselling. Just that, that usually is a fear based. You're looking at some dynamic companies that have dropped fifty percent in value from their high. Yeah. Um, you know, you look what happened. These companies are still making their widgets. They're still shipping. Uh, it's a more complicated than that based on the time frame, but you kind of get my point. Yeah. So understanding kind of the risk level at this stage of your life very important. Of course, we're all at different stages. I mean, I guess we can be a little bit more chill, but if I was wanting to retire in two years, I'm freaking out a little bit more than I am well, right now. Understandably. I mean, that's that's legitimate, right? Yeah. You're kind of going out, the, the numbers change, they, they, they shift. So so what do you do? Uh, you're going to have to kind of wait and see, yeah. see how this plays out. And no one's, if the people with crystal ball, theirs are broken. No one has it. Right. No one knows what tomorrow's going to bring. And these shifts are just, just unparalleled, unprecedented. I haven't seen something like this uh, worse than 08. And that's because of the new dynamics of investing, algorithms, uh, yeah. options trading, things like that. So it throws that emotion way off. All of a sudden, I lost 150000 or $300,000. Well, you lost when you sold. These things recover over time. So I, if you, if, I think if people are having a struggle with, with this right now, you probably want to talk to somebody. Yeah. You know, your financial professional, somebody that can say, listen, I'm really concerned. I'm not sleeping at night. Uh, that's, that's our job is to talk to our clients, all financial professionals know this, and to say really, let's look at the real, the data in there. You know, just before this went up, belly up, this whole, you know, the virus yeah. thing, we're just telling people, worry about your families. Right. Take care of your, take care of your health. I, I believe in what we're doing right now is important. We, yeah. need, we need to suppress this and, you know, keep our families healthy. The markets will work their way out. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it's rather temporary. It might go on for a couple of months. Uh, we're just feeling maybe the first you know, first half of the year is going to be what it is. Second half of the year, we're, we're expecting some, some good news. Uh, so, you know, my, my point for people is you know, don't panic. Just calm down um, with respect to TV. I know. Maybe, maybe don't watch too much news on this because, right. uh, you know, it, it could be a little bit. It's a lot. It's, it is. It, and it could be overwhelming and, and scary. Now, last question before I let you go. I like ending on a high, but is there a way to still grow your money while protecting it? Yeah, there's a lot, lot of good ways to do that. Uh, we've had a number of clients where we had cash ready, and it's a good time to invest right now, yeah. too. It's down, right? Uh, you know, Warren Buffett had a saying. He said, you buy when there's blood in the streets, which he's saying is basically days like today are a good time to do that. So you have cash available. You might want to consider getting in, right? So, so, so you're looking at GE stock right now. It, it was worth double. Uh, three, four weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, you know, the company's never solid. Get a lot of GE slow. people here in the community uh, understand that. They're still doing what they're doing. So it's a great time to do that. Uh, you know, it's a great time to refinance your home. Yep. So, you know, you, you, you're given a do lemon, that. make lemonade, yeah. right? Yeah. And I, I just tell people, I said, you know, just watch what you're watching. You know, take care of your family. Be smart. Uh, your investments will recover. If you have any questions, obviously we're a resource here in the community. Give us a call and we'll, we'll talk to you about your, your personal situation. Well, thank goodness y'all are here. We are lucky. This is one of those times I'm like, oh, looking forward to this interview because it, it kind of it just makes us feel better. So if you're at home right now and you want to learn more about kind of preparing for your retirement in the wake of the coronavirus, North Star Financial has a great offer for you. Right now, the first five callers that have saved $250,000 or more, they're going to offer a complimentary full-blown retirement plan just for you. It will allow their team to sit down with you personally and provide you with the roadmap, analyzing where you are right now, discuss your best steps to really get ready for a successful retirement, a game plan to really get you where you need. There's a number on your screen. Call it 864-309-8146. Let Northstar Financial help you.